tonight. My goal, really, in such a short period of time with such a massive topic, is really to help us all have an energetic shift about the work of diversity and inclusion. From potentially fear and overwhelming and um, hesitancy to one of excitement and one of deep curiosity, knowing that if we step into this conversation and we do it together, that we will not only create more beautiful businesses that get to make more impact in the world, but we get to actually change the world. And I think all of us here, at least some place in our heart, that lights us up. One, of, one thing I noticed and why I created the Kindness Circle was because I noticed that when people get into this dialogue, their trauma responses come up and their protective mechanisms stop them from actually fully engaging in the dialogue. So as we step into this conversation tonight, I just want to give us some things to think about. So the first one is to invite in curiosity to come and be with you in the conversation. So anytime that you're feeling something or anytime you rub up against a perspective that is not your own, just get curious about it. Hmm, I wonder how that life experience could be different from mine. Or hey, I wonder what this thing is going on in my body right now. It doesn't feel very good. And if that happens, I want you to tap into your breath because that's the thing that will ground you. And you don't need to change the feeling, you just need to let it be. That really is the work and it's not as easy as it sounds. So come back to your breath and practice self-love first and foremost. Uh, there are a lot of different people in this room with a lot of different experiences and there are some people that are actively being oppressed in this space by our culture, by our systems, and by people. And so I want all of us to participate in the conversation at the level that we feel comfortable at um, so that you're really practicing self-care and self-love as we step in.